Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I hope everybody had a lovely Mother's Day and a great weekend. Uh, today, my brother has gone. I dropped him off at the airport in Bologna yesterday and we had a lovely time. And so I'm back in action, uh, just trying to catch up on everything. And so I'm going today just do something fairly simple that's kind of been done before. Um, but I'm going to um, just do some glassine bags and I had printed out all of these bingo thingy midgies quite a while ago so I thought well I might as well use them up so I'm going to work on these glassine bags here I'll tell you the size if you want to know those uh, so they are nine centimeters by 16 and three and a half centimeters by six and a half nearly so that's the size of them. So I think I'll have a give it a whirl and see what we come up with. I think I might start with some. I've got my boxes here. I'm a little bit organized, but not too much. We don't want to exaggerate. Um, I'm going to start here with my rice paper, I think. And I'm going to pull out, just move those napkins out of the way. Oh, that one's nice. We saw this one the other day. Isn't that beautiful? Um, we've got some of this lovely paper and I wanted to also use, where is it, maybe some of this one, although, yeah, maybe, or where is the other, there's another, I have another one that I was thinking of that I can't find, don't tell me I don't have any, it's a musical one, where did I put it, it should be there, oh, here it is, it is there. So, okay, I love this one too. It's got all the sort of tea staining things on it. Now I need my wet, a wet one and I'm going to wet it a little bit and just tear it down. So let's just move these out of the way. Okay, now I'm a little bit tired. One, because, you know, it's tiring. Um, when you've got visitors and go out to restaurants all the time and have fairly late nights getting old so I do get a bit tired doing that stuff I'm sure my brother was pretty tired as well my poor brother I mean he's been traveling already this is his third week away for work he and he seems to jet all over the place um, and um, so he said it's pretty tiring and stressful um, but I think he likes his job and so um yeah so he looked pretty tired and um of course he didn't well he did relax a bit like we didn't race out because he's been here before we didn't race out doing lots of sightseeing or anything like that we, he got to sort of chill out a bit um while he was here um but we did organize lots of dinners with our friends and stuff which was a lot of fun so we had some late nights and um so it's kind of good today not to eat too much get back into my routine and then when we came back from Bologna last night, uh, we got back at about 8.30. My husband has found a new TV. He loves watching series. And so he found a new one on Netflix um, called The Sinner with Jessica Biel. And, you know, he, there are some series I just prefer would prefer not to watch. Um, but, you know, he likes me to... It's more like, you know, it's one of the times of the day where we sort of do something together. It's like we watch a series together. Sometimes we just um, don't agree what to watch. But um, anyway, so I started watching it with him and um, I didn't like the first episode and because um, there was some stabbing. And um, but then I then I started watching the second episode. And um, and so then I kind of was curious to know what's going to happen. But it was, it's kind of a disturbing show. It's a bit disturbing, I think. Those sorts of things disturb me. Because, um, you know, there's a bit of um, dark things that happen and, you know, drugs and that sort of stuff. And I don't like any, any of that stuff. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so it was a bit disturbing for me. And so that meant I didn't sleep well. I said to my husband, I need to watch something nice before I go to sleep, not disturbing stuff otherwise I can't sleep it just goes around and around in my head and then I imagine I'm hearing noises and all that sort of thing and 
and, I, and so I tried to watch YouTube last night but it wasn't working mm -hmm. I don't know why maybe it's the rain <laughs> you know, in Italy oh gosh if you see my thing jigging about it's because I've dropped a whole lot of stuff and I'm keeping I'm picking things up and something else is dropping on the floor um, right I'm, I'm back in action I've lost my bingo card I've dropped it so I'll have to grab another one uh, I can't I'm not going to go down I, I would have to unplug myself to go down there and get that um, now we're going to have some of this I think behind it as you can see I do not um, I'm not someone that gives up like I'm determined to conquer the bingo cards okay so I'm just going to trim now oh what really you can see I haven't been crafting for a few days struggling a little bit there we go we'll just put that like that and I'm going to oh I kind of needed to use my sewing machine I've got everything piled in front oh I like that yes yes that's going to be I mean these are very simple guys just need some nice bits and pieces of old um, lacy bits and a bingo card and some rice paper or some script paper or something like that and it doesn't help that I've got my scale in here I don't need that I'll just put that down there and I don't want to drop that because that's a very useful useful thing to happen I'm I am make, totally making you feel seasick I know because I keep pulling the thing okay because you know I am attached to the arm right I'm just blabbing now so let's I'm not going to glue that because that will just come through onto my sewing machine but I'm going to stitch it and I think I'm going to run out of thread because I haven't wound any on for a bit and I know, I know I'm not on screen but you don't need to see me sew trying to get back into the swing of things right so I'll glue this down and just see if I want to glue it like that or do I want to glue it straight who knows yeah I think I might glue it straight so I'll just put some glue down here this may be a quick video guys because I've got a lot to catch up on okay put that one there I'm putting it slightly not lot right in the center because I want to put something down here and so then I'm going to go to my files you know my ephemera holders and I I will um, for anybody who's a new subscriber I will link um, link them down below my um, ephemera holders how I make them because I seem to get that question whenever they make an appearance in a video I get the question so I'll, I will try and link it fairly often in the bottom in the description box because um, yeah I don't have great names on my videos they're just sort of random very random sort of names so you might have trouble finding it okay so I'm just wanting to see if I have like a small oh, I quite like that one that's a possibility I'm looking for a I even might like that I'll keep that one out for it because I'm going to do more than one because these are very useful things for putting in journals and I'll show you after because Diana I have pretty much finished your journal I just have to um, embroider your name on the front your initial on the front and then it is done so I've been a good girl I did get it nearly done before my brother came and I just um, put in all the pockets and things I've just got to put the ephemera in and then it's finished and I'm just pulling out a few things so um, I have a few things that I can look at and decide if I want to use them and let me see here I like that one I like a birdie flying that's a bit of Easter that one no put that one in there I don't want a seagull I don't think
Oh, that's cute. Okay. I also have stickers. I did mention that the other day, I think, if I remember correctly, and I, I forget about them. Okay, I think they're all too big, and I don't think I want to use any of those. Okay, so that's that one. So let's just see here. It's a bit grey today, so I don't know how the light is going, but um, it's quite nice. I am going to do more than one, so I think I quite like the ro one of the two ro roses or that one. If we wanted to go a little bit paler, that one there, or this one here, or this one, that one I think. So I'll glue that on. I also get a lot of questions about my glue stick. So this is the Giotto brand. Um, you can get, like it's a, um, it's an sort of a brand of pencils and really good pencils for kids, coloring in pencils and textures and, or you call the markers in the States. Um, so um, the, the glue is really good. It actually glues um, fabric as well. If I, if I want something to be like super secure, like if on a book cover, I'm not gonna use the glue stick. I would use PVA. But um, if uh, it's just something like this, then it's actually fine. I've found that if I try and tear it off, I rip the page. So it's pretty good. I might like a stamp as well. And then that one is done. And if I want one of these stamps, these stamps don't have a home yet because I haven't finished my folder. I might like something to stick out a bit more. I think I'd like a bigger stamp than that one. Isn't this beautiful, this stamp? That's lovely. I like that one. Put it on straight. Or, no, none of those. I need it to be big. These are all small. Okay, so they can, oh, no, I want to keep that one out. Put those in there. Now, I also get lots of questions. Where do I get my stamps from? I got them from Ma Jilly. M-A-J-I-L-L-Y, I think, on um, Etsy. So I will probably, if I remember, I will link them below in the description box. And the bingo card comes from the Graphics Fairy, and so does the rose. And the rice paper is Stamperia. There we go. Gave you all the information. I don't think I want any of those. They're all small. They're beautiful, but they're small. So I do have my other um, box of stamps over here. Box. Well, my ephemera thing. Thing image here. And where I haven't taken all of the bird stamps out yet, so I could use one of those. Oh, there you go. Everything just fell on the floor. How about that? Would this be a good video, Rachel video if it, everything didn't fall on the floor? So that's a bit of a mess. That one blends in. I really did like that one. Very nice stamps. I must say so myself. Okay. Is that one's quite nice. Or... like that one but I might go with the first one which was just the solid green that one's too much okay let's just have a look here I think not that one I'm eliminating that one I kind of like that one but I think I, I'm going to go with my first choice which is usually the case I usually do go for my first choice and I'm going for this green one Okay, I like that. And this bag, I am considering it done and it will be glued onto or stuck onto a pocket. So let's do another one. And the next one I might use, I could do a little bit of stamping on it or I could put some book page. Now, let me see if I can sort out my, oh, all the stuff's falling out of the garbage bin just a minute because it's all tipped over. Okay, gathering it up. Oh, there we go. And you lost some of it. Okay, so if I move that tripod out of the way, I'll have less of a bother. Put that there. There we go. Okay, got it all. 
Right, let me see. I wouldn't mind putting some book page. Oh, here's a nice old piece of book page. So that's pretty good, that one. And I'll just tear it here. I don't really um, mind that that's sort of more white there. And I'll just tear it here. And then I can glue it in place. I just heard my messenger go. I'm hoping that's my brother telling me everything's okay. Okay. There. And I don't have my phone near me today, so that way there's no risk of me dropping it on the floor. Be good to get a few of these done because I have quite a few books to make and I need things to go in them. And then I think I might like This is lovely. I think Melissa sent me this. I might like a bit of this here. I think I like this bit here. Now don't forget, I might lose it a bit, that's all, because I am going to put a bingo card on. So we'll just see how I go. No, I don't want to tear the bird. Okay. And I'm going to put the bingo card a bit further up. So I might glue that down there. And then I can have my bingo card. Maybe I'm not going to put it. Well, that was the goal was to use the bingo card. So I do need to put a bingo card. So why don't I just put this if I put it there but I think I like the flowers so maybe I'll put it down further and I'll have some yes that's it and then I'll have some fabric behind something you know netty or something behind the bingo thingy me jiggy Okay, and then I need to get some fabric behind that. Now I don't want to lose that because I might like to use something from there. Um, what fabric? That all the fabrics fell on the floor as well. Just a second. Okay, possibly this one or that one. That's nice. Yes, well we like that. Let's just snip it and tear it. Snip and tear getting tangled great and then here I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here so it just stays put on the fabric and then I stitch around it okay here we go again So let's just trim up our threads. And I'm going to put that there. I'll decide in a minute. Oh, kind of nearly all covered up all the writing. I could put it at an angle like that. So let's put some glue everywhere here. Put it at an angle you can see some of the writing. And did I glue it enough here? No. Kind of covers the flowers, but it doesn't matter. They're kind of peekabooing out from underneath. And then um, I was thinking I might like 
Oh, I thought I might like a bird, but I might like that more. That's very pale and pretty. I think I like that. I'm going pale and pretty on this one. So it's a fairly simple composition. I'm putting something in the background. Then I'm putting the bingo on the on a piece of fabric, but not, not too heavy a sort of fabric, so it's not too bulky. And then I'm putting my bingo card or straight or at an angle, whichever you whatever is the preferred way and then um, I'm putting or something up I'm putting a flower or something down here and then something up here but I'm not sure what so on this one I don't know that I've got anything the right color there and then I had these ones I do like these stamps I like the monotone stamps a lot I might put that one there yes why not got a castle and these I think are German stamps it says Deutsch there we go and that's my second one done see it's a super fast project super fast okay let's make another one so on this one I had that a lovely um, let's put some of this nice rice paper on there and just start off with that and then see where it takes us okay let me get my size so I need pretty much nearly all of it so I'm just wet here just to make it easier to tear and the other thing I'm going to tear if I can see the little stampery there I don't want that Okay, so that will go there. Is that upside down? No, that's okay. Change my book page. So um, last week, uh, I think it was maybe on Friday, I'd kind of caught up with everything that I had to do before my brother came, um, that I could do before he came. Um, and I um, just prepared a few bases for some different things to do. I haven't decorated anything yet, so um, we'll do those this week. Today I've been rushing around a bit, so I just needed to do something simple or I wouldn't have done a video. So I hope that's okay with everyone. That's lovely. Right, the bingo card. And I need, I think I would like netting again for this one, or would I like to stay brown? If we could stay brown. Mm, I might like this. I think I do. I'm going to trim that. Okay. So this is just uh, like a cheesecloth that I had tea dyed many moons ago that I didn't use that much. I tend to hoard things. Okay. Still got a bit of thread so I can do a bit more sewing. Oops, having trouble cutting it. Okay, that's done. And I think I would like that at an angle. And I think I was thinking I might like this flower on there. Yes, I'm liking that color combination a lot. Plenty of blue. Good. Put this flower on. Oh, maybe these birds. No, I like the flower. I think this flower I cut out from a book. Yes, I did. There's something on the other side. So that's from a book. It's a nice flower. And I'm not going to put a stamp on this one. Guess what I'm going to put? A label. 
Yes, I'm going down the label road again. Okay, I want a little label, not a big one. Where did I put them? I put them here. Here they are, and I don't think I want blue or green. Oh, I could have a green one. I could. See, so yeah, as you can see, I haven't cut. Oh, I like that. Yep, that's what it's going to be, that one. And these are those. Oh, that's green. Now, why is that there? Or is that black? That's no, the black one. I'm going to put that one there. Good. Got a lot of cutting out to do. A lot. I just can't catch up with it. Now, I think because I'm... This is on sticky paper, adhesive paper. Um, so, but... It's pretty strong, but I think I might put a little bit of glue under it because it's going to stick onto the fabric as well, just to be sure. Slide it along the top of the glue and stick it there. Yep, that's good to me. I like that. Oh, I didn't glue that down properly. Oh, I see because I didn't glue the fabric down. There we go. It's all glued. Like if I pull that, it'll rip the bag. Good. We'll do another one. Now, what am I going to use for this one? I've got this nice paper. So the, my friend gave me, um, we went out to dinner with some friends with my brother and she gave me a present, my friend that does the ceramics. And this is the beautiful paper it was wrapped in. It's like a craft paper, but with these beautiful um, sort of, I want to say, Japanese blossoms. Super pretty. Let's tear that. Don't know where she bought it. Okay, so if I put that there, I need to change this over again. I'll get rid of that when I tore it. Oh, another order of business. If it, those of you um, who have ordered the the magazines that I found on the weekend, um, the really old ones, um, I did um, email those who spent uh, nineteen euro and up in shipping. I have contacted you to ask for your phone number because I have to provide that with the EMS shipping documents. Um, otherwise they won't accept the parcel and um, if you could get if you're watching the video could you let me know I, I did email you and if you didn't get the email um, I actually emailed from my um, Gmail because uh, I realize that m many people don't have Etsy um, connected to their email so when you get a conversation you, it doesn't come into your email because you've got to tell it to send it to your email um, and so I often don't get answers when I, because I realize that people who do not sell on Etsy are not always on Etsy like us who sell on Etsy. So um, to get a more speedy answer, I sent out um, an email to everybody and um, who had, you know, had spent enough to be able to have the EMS shipping and um, only two have answered me. So um, I would like to ship those tomorrow if at all possible. So if I could have an answer, that would be great. Right. And if you didn't get the email, if you like, all you have to do is look at your order. Did I spend 19 euro and up on shipping? And if you did, I probably emailed you. If you didn't get that way, if you didn't get the email, you can let me know and I'll message you on Etsy. But just remember to have a look. And those who I've shipped um, EMS before, you don't need to worry about it because I've, it's already saved in the the um, sh the courier's um, sort of database. So I, I just type your name in and everything comes up for me. Oh, oops. Okay, so I've stitched my bingo card on. And I would like to use these because I did print them out. So I might as well get, you know. Oh, and I did look up now. Um, in Italy, um, bingo is called tombola. 
and um, in Italy Tombola was uh, they started Tombola in Naples I think it might have been Queen Margarita um, that also had the chef invent pizza because she was bored with the food um, anyway it was invented in Naples if I remember correctly I only very quickly read it on my telephone yesterday um, and um, 1740 tombola tombola is this pretty much the same thing as bingo they don't have these bingo cards like this but they have it's the same thing it's a number thing and they you pull the numbers out and you mark them off and and you win so it's very similar okay well that would be cute i think i like him going in that way maybe not Um, maybe I would like a flower again I like the flowers on these things yeah I like that I'm going to put that there I do like the flowers okay we I wanted to have a play with the um, printed doilies too on the on the on these glassine bags so maybe we'll do one last one and um, with a with a doily you see I know that it would be upset but I like the butterfly coming in that way I know they don't do that I like it in that direction but I'll do as I'm told so I do it the right way and I'll put it that way all right I'm going to put the butterfly on because I like the butterfly and I'll put him flying out of the scene not into the scene so he's facing the right way up there we go so that's that one done very simple very quick simple decorations that are great on a page and I am going to show you at the end where I've put one of these and it's one that you haven't seen before because I had sort of um, one day I just sort of sat down and started uh, preparing just trying a few different things out because I um, I knew that I'm, I was going to have a lot to do on these um, 100 day this 100 day project that it would be challenging for me so I thought I better um, have a few things up my sleeve and this is one of them and um, the other ones I already put into journals the, uh, the other day the other flip through flip throughs it's a bit of tongue twister flip throughs that you saw now what did I say I was going to do I was going to do doily I think I'm going to go with this lovely paper again because I do really like it it's one of my favorites actually and this is a Stamperia rice paper. I think I said that before. All of my rice papers are nearly all Stamperia because that's pretty much all I can get here. Now let me just see. It needs to come down further. Okay. Yes, so anyway, it's not... Uh, going back to that TV series, the Netflix series that uh, I'm watching with my hubby, it's um it's actually well done it's good but it's just to me it's a bit disturbing I, I find it, those sorts of things disturb but you know my husband doesn't get disturbed he sleeps like a log he can sleep through anything okay so I'll put that on there as straight as I can manage today and then I'm going to I've got my bingo card here if, yes I am going to use that and I've got my folder here with all of my doilies and I'm going to have a little look oh I shook the thing again sorry guys and I'm going to have a little look and see if there's anything in here that I could possibly like I might not I might totally do an about left on about right whatever you say and change my mind see those would be nice on there those those look at those colors mm, that's food for thought put that on some fabric and oh that is interesting I'm going to pull that out interesting mm -hmm. the other option is one of these maybe an oval one in, on the side that would be pretty 
Oh, that's pretty too. I might have to do two more. I like that. Mmm, I do like that. Okay, right. So I'm going to glue that down. Can you just move out of the way because you're annoying me? And I'm going to glue this. Actually, maybe I should trim it first. So I don't want to get it all gluey. And then I, because I'll use the little piece that I, I don't want those scissors, these scissors. Flip it over and give it a trim without cutting the bag. Okay. So if you didn't have this nice um, Stamperia uh, rice paper, I'll tell you what would be nice is some of those digital Curio papers would be nice. Um, in I bought the sepia, one of their sepia um, ranges, kits I should say, and they have these sorts of pattern, not that exactly that, but they do have things, arabesque sort of things that would be nice. Uh, now. I might have a piece of this as well, but I don't want it to go too far beyond my bingo card because I don't want to uh, cover up my lovely doily. And of course, this would be lovely without a bingo card. You could just put a butterfly there and a label up there. That oh, that would be nice too. Now then, the decisions become more and more difficult. I put a little bit of glue here so he stays put, and it'll be easier to cut. And yeah, as I said, I don't want too much it to go too far beyond my bingo card. It doesn't matter even if it's not beyond it at all. Uh, just a tiny bit. So I'm going to trim that off as close as I can. Just to have a little bit of texture behind it. Poking out. I'll stitch around that. You've got bits and pieces poking out all around it but not too much and let's have a look I can always trim it off if we've got to No, I like that maybe that little piece so there I might just trim that off okay so that can go there and the nice thing about having these printables is that you can do many versions like maybe we like it more without the bingo card well then make another one without the bingo card have a variety okay that's going there and then what is the million dollar question well, I quite like the butterfly Maybe the butterfly could go up there there might put him there or otherwise I ne might need another flower I seem to be liking the flowers I like that butterfly though let me see this bird no that bird is not right there's something not right about it that butterfly is not the right colour and I don't I think I've only got big things in here. Things that are too big. What these sorts of things? What this little bird? He needs to find a home. Well that's pretty. I think I might put him there. And then I'm going to put a label. Yes, I know, I know, but I am. Labels just make the difference to me. I like them. And someone did ask me, I think I might, I don't remember what I did last week, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself as I tend to do. Um, someone did ask me what to do with the labels. I think I did speak of this last week. Um, in my, because I, the only journals I've ever really done are travel journals. I, I like the labels. I put um, maybe a date on them or the place or a title, like a museum name or that sort of thing. I think they're very useful for that. I really like that one. And uh, isn't it, where's the label file gone? Here. Yeah. So hopefully we've got one in the right color cut because they're in my cutting folder that I haven't had time to cut. And I kind of like the green and that's the only one I've got. It's not really the shape that I want for this. So I might have to go with a one of these types. I like that one. I do like that one. Let's see if I like something more. Quite 
quite like that one. This is one of my favorites, this one here. Well, I like that one the best. Okay, there we go. Now I know not everybody always agrees with me, but that's what I like. And also remember, I've got the pressure of the camera too being on. If it's on, oh, I didn't check. Can you imagine? Oh, it is going only 40 minutes. Wow, we're whizzing along today. Okay, so that one's good. I like that. And I said we're going to do another one. And I was thinking maybe one without a bingo. I think I might have finished my bingo cards. Have I? Yes, those little ones, I finished them. So good. I don't have to do any more of those. Yep, I don't have any more bingo cards flying around. And so I'm thinking I might use... Try this paper. Oh, wait, I had that other really nice paper in here. Just a sec. I hope you're not jigging about. This one. Here it is that I've never used before. This is one of my favorites. I'm sure that's very noisy. Oh, this is like um, a bit more like tissue paper. What does it say? Tavoliolo? No, it's it's rice paper. Carta di riso. It's rice paper. Okay, so we need a piece of this. Don't need that. Oh, this tears more. It's easier than the other one to tear. It's a bit of an awkward size. I'm. Oh well, that didn't tear very well. Ugh. Disaster. Of course, I've crowded myself here too, so I'm a bit squished. A bit squished, which is the right way, that way. It's very pale. That's the right way there. I could just do it like a jigsaw puzzle. It's very pale. So I think I might glue on here. It's, as you can see, it was very fragile when I was tearing it. Oh, and another thing you might want to do is I like, when with the bags, I like that shorter bit where it opens, obviously, to be at the front. So you might want to be careful of that because I have occasionally done it the opposite way and then had to trim that little bit off. Okay, so that's stuck down. And I think I might patch it. I think that went on, oh no, it didn't go on the other side. It's meant to go there, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put a doily over that anyway. So, where is my thing here? Oh, everything get out of my way, please. Here we go, one of these. Not that one, I like the one that's um, for that sort of thing that's quite chubby. No, not that one, these ones are narrow. Where is my wider one? See, I've got a big one. I don't have any more of those ones left. I need to print it out again of that size. Oh, here, I've got this one. This one's smaller, though. Oh, come on. Just pull it all out. That one, I mean. See, that one's nicer in there. But I don't have any of that size. So now what am I going to do? Let's throw on a spanner in the works. I don't think there are any there or square ones. This one might do. Nope. And then this is another favourite, but no, none of those are working. Now what am I going to do? I'll have to give it a rest. like that one okay getting somewhere there are some possibilities here 
maybe that, but it needs something going across there. Something going across that way. Straw paper. I stick that there. No. Maybe a bit of uh, writing. But I don't have any, do I? What about a bit of music paper? Oh, I like the music paper. I do like the music paper. And I think I know what else I would like. I might like a little piece of this. Okay. Wait, no, I'm saying that, but I want to see first, actually, um, how I'm going to put it. Like that. Okay. Right, everything's sticking to me. I'm just going to trim that that overhang there off after okay and then glue this one down like so not seeing Lulu all day today she's at her English thing and then she's at her grandma's they picked her up and then she's at her English thing and so I'll be picking her up at nearly five o'clock. And the cheeky monkey had lost her grammar book. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And so anyway, I sent her photographs of the exercises out of it that needed to be done so she can she doesn't have any excuse for not doing them. Otherwise she'll be doing homework when she comes home at five o'clock. Okay, I do like this one, something different. And I could have put some book page under there if I wanted a bit more texture. I didn't think about that. I actually might have liked that even more if there was some book page under there. But I thought about that now, too late. Just trim that, that excess off. And um, I'm just thinking, do I want a stamp on there? Possibly, I don't, oh yeah, I could have a bird stamp. I could have a bird stamp. Just find my bird stamps, the ones that are still in here. Okay. Let me see. It's a nice stamp. It doesn't stand out enough. Maybe I won't have a stamp. Possibly, actually, I've gotten myself into a big mess now, but, oh, I found them. I was going to say, I've gotten myself into such a mess on my table, I can't even find my stamps. These really are the loveliest colours. What's this one? It's Dutch. Not that one. Oh, that's nice. I'd like it to be going the other way. So let me see what I've got here. They're all too small. Aren't they beautiful? All too small. I just get my other book down. This is my mm. my other book where I'm going to be slowly transferring all my stamps to. And I did that in one of my 100 day project videos. So these are all my Italian stamps here. Quite a lot of those now because I bought two lots. So let's see. Maybe no stamp. I'm just not finding what 
I think I'm thinking I would like to use that's an amazing stamp it's huge mm-hmm looking 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 oh that's nice that one oh, I keep that one out I like that one I don't know if you could see because I might I've put my um, stamp book has o taken over um, mm -hmm. no okay these are a bit smaller there's a few bigger ones there and then I've got some other stamps here yes the butterflies are all here but I don't think I would put a butterfly stamp on because I've already got a butterfly on it and then I've see, I've got to finish that's how hopeless I am and then there's nothing there that's how slow I'm bit very much slow a slow mo okay so I quite like that one I think I'm going to go with that and then I'm done that's it the video is done it's pouring outside love it Okay. Okay, that's that. So let's just recap what I've done. I'll stand up so I can see. So I did this one. And then I did quite a lot. I'm glad because I need these. I really like them. I love that one. Love that one. I like them all. That one there. This, this was the first one. And then that one as well and I'll just show you quickly in um, this book here um, this is Diana's that's where it, it is on the page it's stuck down onto the page and then you can slip things in it and it's very pretty it just decorates it oh and this lovely paper is by Artsology I think you say very beautiful um, digi kits in her shop and I'll, I'm going to have a play with those um, very soon so I'll show you this later so thank you for watching and I hope everyone is well and I'll be back soon. Bye.